In this video, I'm going to talk about DevOps. You might have seen it on the internet, heard about it somewhere, and probably wondered what it is. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you what DevOps is. And I can't really explain DevOps properly without explaining what DevOps is. So what is DevOps? You may think you already know what DevOps is. You may think it's somebody who knows how to use Docker, AWS, Kubernetes, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. That's not exactly true. In essence, DevOps is a way to bring the development team and the ops team together. You may have seen this infinity icon before when it comes to DevOps, and that's because DevOps is a continuous cycle to continually improve an application. So here is kind of the schedule of the National DevOps Conference. Here are some talks that I found from the website, and it's probably difficult to read, so let me zoom in. And you can see just by the title of these talks that it's not all about Kubernetes and Docker. Yes, that is an aspect of DevOps, but it's not what DevOps is all about. So if we look at the title going from the blue box to the green to the red to the yellow, you'll see none of these talks mention anything to do with Docker or Kubernetes or AWS. It's all about communication and improving software testing and development. And if you want to learn more specifics about DevOps, you can read books like The Phoenix Project or The DevOps Handbook. These books do a great job of explaining what DevOps is. So now you have an idea of what DevOps is, let's talk about DevOps. So if we split the words div and ops, you get div, which is a div HTML element, it's kind of the base element, and you get ops, which stands for operations. So the div element, stands for the content division element. It's a way to separate or section elements in HTML. And what DevOps is, is a way to kind of bring that div element and the operations team together. It's to make sure the operations team fully understand what the div element is. They embrace the div elements. They know and nurture everything about that div element. And this will help the development team grow and will develop the front end of the software to a much better standard. Of course, I'm joking. That is not what DevOps is all about. If we go back to the original definition you might have had of what DevOps is when you started watching this video, that it's someone who knows Docker, AWS, Kubernetes, and Azure, you can think of these tools as ways to automate or stabilize the backend of a website. And if you have that definition of DevOps in mind, then DevOps is a developer who understands how to create a stable environment for the front end of a website. So they'll know how to use tools like Webpack to bundle the front end, Netlify to host the front ends. They can use tools like AWS Lambda for Jamstack or serverless sites. They can use GitHub Actions to run CI, CD pipelines and many, many more things. But as I've already explained in this video, DevOps is not all about code. It's more about communication and collaboration between the development and the ops team. It's more of a culture of software development in a company. And a close comparison to DevOps is something like Agile. At a company, you either do DevOps or Agile. You don't do both. And so with that definition in mind, DevOps doesn't quite make sense. So what should DevOps be called instead? Well, if I'm being completely honest, I don't know. There are so many terms out there on the web that can be used, and I can give you a few that I like. One of which is front-end infrastructure developer. Another one is front-end site reliability engineer, or just a senior front-end developer. Any name that is around that would work as long as it's not DevOps. Speaking of front-end, if you are a front-end developer using React, and or TypeScript and want to improve your skills, then check out my free course using modern React to develop fast and robust web apps. Visit react.robray.dev to get access to this course. Thanks for watching. I hope you have grasped a better understanding of what DevOps is. And if you liked this or if you have any comments, please feel free to write them below. Of course, click the thumbs up button on this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.